Hello guys, I am Myris and today I am going to introduce new version of Undead for SketchUp 2022. Those who have been using Undead for some time now know that Undead plugin has many advanced tools to deal with point cloud in SketchUp. And Undead can handle hundreds of gigabytes point cloud project without slowing down SketchUp itself. And this new product version has new smart features which I am going to introduce you in this video. To show new features, first of all, I will create a smaller clipping box of my entire point cloud. and will disable inside scans to have clear view of elevation. The new and that toolbar contains new snapping tools which will allow you to draw SketchUp geometry by snapping to the point cloud points. And there are line, rectangle, rotated rectangle, circle, two point arc, push pull and tape measurement tool which can be used by snapping to the point cloud points and all these tools are made in the smart way and for example and that rectangle tool automatically detects the plane orientation if it's vertical or horizontal. Also, these tools detecting snapping to the existing SketchUp object. And for example, you can start draw a new object from endpoint and finish by snapping to the point cloud points. And for example, in this situation, if the point cloud is in front of SketchUp object, and if I will try to use rectangle tool, it will not snap to the point cloud points, but it will detect SketchUp plane and the new geometry will be created on the existing object. In this situation, uh, snapping delay tool can be used. And when this tool is enabled, if you hold the mouse for one second, it will start to snap to the point cloud points. And as you can see now, new face is snapped to the point cloud points. Using these new tools, you can easily create new geometry by tracking to the point cloud points. And the same situation, just drawing the outline of this chimney and using push-pull tool, selecting plane, holding the mouse for one second and extruding to the point cloud points and the same situation over here rectangle tool starting from on the edge point to the edge point and by using push pull tool snapping to the point cloud points To show other new features, I have restored my point cloud view and deleted all the geometry which I have created, just to be focused on the new features. In this new Undead for SketchUp version, we have fully implemented Undead browser feature. And now I will open Scan Data Manager 
to enable scan station markers. And if you are using on that project compatible with on that browser, with double mouse click on scan station marker will open on that browser project and you will be able to see how the stations looks from the perspective view and double click on another scan station marker and you will be able to open to another scan position and during this demonstration I am using one screen so I will, I will enable always on top options and when I get back to the SketchUp window the browser window will keep in front of the screen as you can see double click and you can open panoramic view of that scan position another cool features is called view sync and using this feature you can select point cloud point which is not clear for you and and that will find all the scan stations looking to that object and you can check what type of object it is and for example once again I'm selecting this curb points and and that browser will find all the scan stations looking to that point from different scan stations. To show our new browser feature, I will enable inside scans switch to the top view and create a slice and maybe even smaller slice and get back to the top view now I see the extents of the first floor and I can't understand it is a wall or there's a chimney so using the sync tool I can simply click on these points and in that browser I will see how that object is looking so as you can see it's a TV screen and in the point cloud slice it seems that is uh, uh, some kind of a wall and in that browser there is the features like translate with section and when you activate that feature for example now I see the TV on my point cloud view but I want to see the wall without the TV so just simple clicking on the wall and and that will update your clipping box location yeah, for example when to see the radiators just clicking and I see the radiators so when I changing the color to, to intensity you see better view and you can see how it's simple to update the view of the clipping box and it is the same situation if for example I restore the view of a point cloud getting back to RGB colors uh, disable inside scans and creating smaller clipping box and if in on that browser I will browse my scans and for example I want to see how this object is looking in the point cloud and just sim simply clicking on this object in the image and 
and in a SketchUp, I will see how this object looking in a point cloud view. To conclude, and that browser, and and that for SketchUp, uh, offer unique two-way communication between 3D point cloud and the CAD model and panoramic image views from your scan stations. And very simple, you can detect the same objects which were selected in the point cloud in the panoramic image. And uh, you have possibility, just simple, select any object in the panoramic image and and that will shift point cloud clipping box to that object location. I hope these new features will be useful for your daily point cloud processing and thank you for watching and see you on the next video.